Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below. So let's get started. Now today we're talking about volume with disks that are perpendicular to the x-axis. So oftentimes your calculus book will call this the disk method for finding volume. So what we have is we have a region. It's bounded by square root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 4. So let's draw that. So y equals 0 is the x-axis. x equals 4 is this line right here. And then we have square root of x right here. Now that's just the region. So that's this part. The next part of these problems you have to note, which is totally different, is what is it rotated around? And as we get into later videos, you're often going to find that it's not going to be the border of one of these, the one of the borders of this region. So here, this is the x-axis, and this is what it's rotating around. So if you want to think about it, basically what's going to happen is that this is going to rotate around like this, and then the further out it goes, the bigger rotation it is. So what these are is that each cross-section is going to be a circle. And this right here, from here to here, is the radius of that circle. And each circle is going to have a thickness of dx because it's perpendicular to the x-axis. So each slice is infinitely small in the x direction. Now what is this length right here? Well, this is square root of x, and this is 0. So that radius is just square root of x. So r equals square root of x. So if I want the volume of this slice, this is a circle. So the area is pi r squared. But we said that r was square root of x. And the thickness is dx. Now that's the volume of just one slice. Now what if I add up all of these slices? Well that's going to be from 0 to 4. And basically I take the volume of this slice and put it up here. Now the pi I can throw outside. And the square root of x and squared I can cancel that. And we're left with that integral. And for this video we're not going to actually calculate that. We've done calculating integrals in other videos, we're not going to focus on that. Here we're just focusing on taking the description and getting it set up as an integral. Alright, so the next one, here we have find the volume of the region bounded by 4 minus x squared, y equals 0, and x equals 0. So first we have this, we have 4 minus x squared, Next, we have y equals 0, that's this, and then x equals 0, that's that. So we're talking about this region right here. Next thing it says is that it's rotated about the x-axis, so here it's rotated this way. So we're going to be looking like this. Okay, so again, our cross-sections are circles, and our radius is going to go from here to here. And each circle is going to have a thickness of dx. So the radius is 4 minus x squared. So over here, there's my circle. 4 minus x squared is the radius. So the volume of this slice is, it's a full circle, so pi. Now what is r? That is 4 minus x squared, squared, and the thickness is dx. And then to find the total volume, we're going to add up all these slices from 0 out to, well, I didn't write that down, did I? Where is this going to hit the x-axis? Well, what value for x will work? Maybe negative 2? and positive 2. So this integral is going to go from 0 to 2. 
And so I'm going to go from 0 to 2 and adding up all these slices. So I'm going to put pi out front, and I have 4 minus x squared squared dx. And there's the integral. And for the third one, we want to find the volume of the region bounded by x squared, y equals 4, and y equals 0. So here we've got x squared. y equals 4 is right here. Now they intersect at 2. And then we have x equals 0. That's the y-axis. So what we're talking about is this region. And so anytime we have a volume problem, the first thing is you have to draw out the boundaries and then figure out which region you're talking about. Only then can you move on to the next. And here it's being rotated around this line. A lot of people get the wrong idea that when you do disk method, it can only be rotated around the x or the y axis. That's not true. You can rotate it around anything as long as there's no, as long as whatever you're rotating around borders the region. So what we have here. We have a circle like that, circle like that, circle like that. So this is our radius. Now our thickness is still dx. Now how do we get this? It was a little easier because the x-axis, or y equals 0, was one of the boundaries. But here, it's not. And so always what I tell students is I always say, okay, Look at each equation, and then take the top and subtract the bottom, because we're finding the difference between these two. So this is y equals 4, and this is y equals x squared. So our radius is that, 4 minus x squared. Take the top minus the bottom. So the volume of this slice is, it's a full circle, so it's pi. Now we have the radius, 4 minus x squared, squared, and the thickness is still dx. And we're adding up all these slices from when x is 0 to when x is 2. So from 0 to 2, of 4 minus x squared, squared, dx. And there is our integral. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe. To support the channel, click all the links down in the description below. Thanks for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.